invite Mr. Palash Nandi, CEO, Numeric a Brand Legrand. It's nice to see many familiar faces year after year. So it is a nice feeling every time that I'm here. Congratulations to Dr. Sai and your team uh, for yet another UPS Consola Day. And uh, I would also like to take this occasion to, to welcome Fuji Electric to the Indian UPS market. I think, uh, <clears throat> amongst many other things, uh, the entry of Fuji also illustrates the fact that uh, the Indian UPS market is robust enough so as to attract uh, brands like Fuji into Indian market. So it's under the illustration of the fact that I've always believed that uh, the UPS market in India is big enough for all of us to exist. And it's, uh, it's big enough for all of us to have our own, let's say, slices. And I see no reason as to why we should be having a cutthroat competition because uh, the market is big enough for everybody to exist. Uh, as far as, uh, let's say, some of the trends uh, that are happening in the UPS industry, it's a very interesting time. Uh, one, uh, we've been uh, discussing uh, or we've been hearing about this uh, lithium-ion subject with respect to UPS, so this is here to stay. Uh, but what is also interesting, and actually not interesting, but a little bit disturbing as far as I'm concerned, that while uh, everybody, all stakeholders, us, uh, the, all the other stakeholders within the ecosystem, while we are concentrating a lot on what lithium-ion can do in terms of uh, space, in terms of, let's say, quick discharge, etc., etc., and therefore can become an interesting part of the UPS industry, but at the same time, uh, none of us are really bothered about what we will do in terms of recycling of these batteries. And this for me, in the future, <coughs> is going to be the biggest stumbling block uh, for the advent of the uh, lithium ion. Uh, because if there isn't a good uh, process of uh, recycling of lithium ion, which it doesn't exist as we speak today, uh, this would become re a real challenge. So I'm happy that Exide, uh, with its collaboration with Lec Lanche, has announced that uh, they would have a recycling plant. I'm happy that Tata Chemicals announced a few months back that they also will invest in this. So for me, if the full cycle is to get completed, the recycling of lithium ion is an issue that all of us will have to be collectively be dealing with it. Two, <clears throat> what is also interesting, as, uh, uh, as my colleague uh, referred to before, that uh, uh, many new opportunities for UPS are opening up. And uh, this also gives me a lot of confidence uh, in the fact that uh, the growth of the UPS industry would be uh, solid uh, in the coming uh, three to five years at least. Uh, I have absolutely no problems uh, in terms of uh, imagining that uh, there is a threat to the UPS industry uh, because uh, whether it be availability of power, whether it be uh, non-conventional, uh, let's say, sources of power, I mean, if ever we have a doubt about uh, the viability of the UPS industry, we just look at the biggest UPS market, that is the US. All of this is already existing. And yet, uh, the US UPS market is growing and growing very steadily. So I have absolutely, let's say, no doubt in my mind that this is an industry that will continue to grow. Yes, there are some challenges, GST being one of them. <coughs> and. Uh, uh, Mr. Bansal has been uh, leading the fight, so to say, out of Delhi. Uh, and some of my colleagues are in touch with you. Uh, this is something that uh, we believe is, uh, has to be sought or has to be fought at uh, an industry level. Because this concept of 18 and 28 is actually uh, quite illogical. I mean, what is the use of a UPS if it doesn't have a battery? So the whole concept of uh, the mix supply, I mean, I cannot fathom in my head. I mean, UPS doesn't exist if there isn't any backup. Uh, otherwise, uh, without the backup, why do you need an UPS? So, uh, however, we also know that uh, as far as the government is concerned, there is a pressure in terms of GST. Uh, collections. So therefore, some of the decisions is not necessarily logical, is more short term in terms of uh, monetary needs uh, rather than uh, long term uh, industry 
specific uh, logical conclusion. So this is something that uh, uh, we as an industry has, uh, has to really fight together because if all of us individually uh, try to fight this fight, I mean, we already know the result uh, of what it will be. And, and, and this is where <clears throat> I think, and this is something that I've been saying for the last three years, that we as an industry, we, lose, uh, we are losing some opportunities uh, of, by not having, a, let's say, a robust enough association. Uh, so yes, we have an association out of Delhi. Yes, we have an association out of Bangalore. But are we uh, really being able to take advantage of these two platforms that, that exist uh, at, a, at a national level? Uh, we would be one of the very few industries uh, who really doesn't have a robust uh, association. So this is something that I would again make a request uh, for the third year, that this is something that we have to move, because uh, while there are plenty of opportunities for the industry, there are plenty of challenges today, and I'm sure there would be plenty of challenges in the future also. And if all of us uh, fight these industry level challenges at our individual level, uh, we are not going to be very successful. Uh, so, so I encourage all of you and I would like to, uh, during the course of the day, would like to get your opinion about uh, that how can we build a really solid and very engaging association that, uh, that does solid work. I can tell you as Legra, our experience for example with EMA is fantastic on the on the switchgear side uh, it's a very robust organization uh, very structured and at the end of the day it helps uh, the industry to evolve so if you could build an equivalent of that uh, for the UPS industry uh, this would be my dream <coughs> and uh, Coming back to uh, the year and what we as Numeric or we as Legrand see going ahead. Uh, so for us, the year has been very nice. Uh, in my opinion, since the time that uh, Legrand acquired Numeric, this has been our best performance so far, top line, bottom line, both. Uh, we were having a discussion today while we were coming uh, from Chennai. We happened to be on the same flight, Sri Ram and myself is the fact that uh, it's, it's interesting at some point of time that we were really struggling in terms of margins, uh, 2016 when I, when I came into this role. Uh, just to give you a flavor, this year we operate on the Jan-December period. For the year 2019, our operating income is going to increase by three percentage points compared to 2018. <clears throat> Why I'm wanting to insist on this is not because to pat our back, uh, but this is a good uh, illustration of the fact that uh, the UPS industry could also be profitable. Okay. It is a little bit painful to go through this transition, and we have gone through this transition over a period of two years, and uh, a good mix of customers, a good mix of uh, <coughs> product offer, and uh, to be absolutely clear in our head that there are some businesses that we will not do. Because at the end of the day, we are here to make money. Uh, and if we make money, we can invest back into the organization in terms of product development, people development, and so on and so forth. Uh, so there is absolutely no shame in our minds that we are here uh, to make money. And uh, uh, my guys, uh, the New Americans, have illustrated over the last two years uh, that uh, if our objectives are very clear uh, and uh, we have some amount of understanding that there are some businesses which there is no, I mean, there is no fun of doing those businesses, uh, then uh, we can find a way to make money. And uh, this is why I wanted to put up uh, this point that uh, uh, I've been hearing for a lot of time that it is a very cutthroat industry, very competitive. Yes, it is. Uh, but uh, within that, uh, if you are very clear in our objective, uh, we can make a lot of money. And it is not that we are making money at the cost of sales. Uh, we will have a double digit growth this year, uh, <coughs> anywhere between 12 and 15 percent. We'll see whether it is 12 or 15, depending upon what happens in December. But a double digit growth uh, with a 3 percent increase of operating income is possible. 
So uh, I just would uh, leave it at that with, uh, with a request coming back again that uh, many opportunities of growth, a lot of challenges also at the same time. And uh, we as an industry would be better off if you are able to, uh, to form a, a real good thriving association uh, which takes all these challenges as an industry and not as uh, individual brands. Thank you very much.